don't see. Oh gosh. All right. I guess I'm gonna be blind. Hi and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Ambrosia, and I am currently in the middle of studying herbalism. So my channel is basically all about that: what I learn and what I create. If you haven't seen my first unboxing video with Apothecary at Home, I will put that in the cards. You can watch it at any time. But I did make the two recipes for the tinctures that they had in the guide. This is my first time making any sort of herbal medicine or tinctures on my own. So please be easy with me. It's not really a do as I say video, but more of a kind of follow along video like a cooking channel sort of thing. So I'll also have a few witchy how-tos, tips, 101s here and there. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make the Immune Warming Oxymel from Apothecary at Home. It was in their December guide, like I said. It's up in the cards. This is a, a sort of medicine or tincture that you'll want to take during the first onsets of flu-like symptoms, it has a very warming action to it. So it will boost your immunity and warm you up a little bit. So I I didn't have the doses in the recipe, so I will look up the doses and once I have them, I will link them down below along with the actual recipe. I do plan on redoing this recipe as well as my elderberry syrup recipe down the road. Once I'm able to tweak them both a little bit and make them a little bit more personable to my family and me, these were just the general recipes that came, like I said, with the subscription box. And I know I'm looking at me and not you, but I'm using my phone, so it's really weird. This is a perfect medicine to take during the cold winter months and definitely right when you notice the onset of flu or cold-like symptoms. This recipe uses ginger and astragalus, two roots that are perfect together for an immune warming and boosting tincture. Ginger is a warming herb, so it is known to produce sweat and heat your body, so you can sweat out all that gunk and, you know, ugh, viruses. It's not the COVID though. I don't think it will help against COVID. Ginger is also an antiseptic, anti-inflammatory, and antioxidant. Magical uses for ginger can be healing, love, money, and energy. Astragalus also is anti-inflammatory while also being an immune boosting herb or having immune boosting actions, I should say. I haven't done my monograph of it to do or include the magical properties. What I have found thus far is that it is used to increase energy. So let's get into it. First, you're gonna to wanna to get a clean, sterile jar. Any size and any kind of jar will work. It really just depends on what you have on hand and how much tincture you are looking to make, but this will be what you use for your maceration process. You'll also want to get a glass amber dropper bottle to put your tincture in once it is completed. You'll also want some astragalus root. Again, this depends on how much you are looking to make, but I would recommend just having a cup of it nearby. With the herbs, you will want to fill whatever jar you have about three-fourths of the way full with a two to one ratio of astragalus to ginger. The next herb you'll want to have on hand is ginger. Again, depending on how much you want, I recommend just having a cup of it nearby. Grab half a cup of honey. Not only will it add a nice sweet taste, but it is antibacterial as well, so it will also help with the medicinal properties of this tincture. Grab a bottle of the raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar if you have it. If you don't, you do want to make sure you get the one with the mother culture in it. You can't tell from this clip because I had moved it around, but you always want to give your apple cider vinegar a good shake prior to using it just because stuff does settle at the bottom of it 
and you want to get it all mixed in there really nice. Again, if you are interested in your own subscription box with Apothecary at Home, I have linked their website down below. Just use the coupon code STUDYBUDDY for a discount. So I always start off, oh, I boiled it in hot water and didn't really dry it up until after this. Anyways, I always start off with cleansing my space and my jar just to get everything clear and clean. Cleansing your workspace with smoke is completely optional, however, you do want to sterilize your jar, um, whether that be boiling it in hot water or in a little bottle sterilizer. Anyways, so you, like I said, you want to fill your jar about three-fourths of the way full with a two-to-one ratio of astragalus to ginger. While filling up the ginger or adding the ginger, I did realize I put, there, there you go, I put a little too much astragalus in it. I actually put the whole bag the first time and I had to go back and retrieve some, so. little honey here the recipe does call for half a part of honey so I do add more near the end once I reread the recipe after giving your ACV a good shake you're gonna want to fill up your jar until it is about an inch above the solids so either the herbs or the roots And here I'm just adding that extra bit of honey, as mentioned. Now, here I use these beeswax food wraps. I didn't have wax paper at the time, and I thought this would be just like an alternative. Um, no, go out and get natural wax wraps. Don't try and... This won't help. It won't. Well, I mean, it did. It worked. But my, my wrap is ruined. Three weeks later. After your maceration is sat for two to four weeks, you will want to strain it out using a bowl and a muslim cloth or a strainer. And here is why the wax wrap wasn't a good idea. It was, it's sticky so it was really hard to get the lid off. Hurt my hand, had to get some sort of clamp out and basically bent up the lid there. I will probably have to throw the wrap away, or I could probably mend it. It did get a hole in it, but that was about it. That little tear. All right, also on hand, you wanna make sure you have your dropper bottle and a funnel. You can find little dropper bottle funnels on Amazon. I only had this, this silicone one. Still worked, a little big, still worked. Here's where it gets fun. So, using your muslin bag, you're gonna to wanna to drape it over your bowl or strainer and pour your maceration right into the bag. Strain out all the liquids from the solid herbs and roots. If you have cuts or anything on your hand, be sure to wear gloves. Um, 
apple cider vinegar does burn. I guess I had a paper cut somewhere. Found out this way. Once you've squeezed out as much liquid as you possibly could, grab your funnel and your dropper bottle and just pour your tincture into its new home. I do recommend either using a bigger jar than I did or topping off on the apple cider vinegar the next day after originally making the recipe because I did not get very much in the end. So, lesson learned. From the recommended dosage I have found, you will want to take one tablespoon of this oxymil a day when you feel the onset of flu or cold-like symptoms. I recommend putting it into a tea or just straight water or just straight into your mouth, however you prefer. And just like with the maceration, you will want to store this in a dark, cool area. So after bottling the tincture, I've of course tried it. Um, I will say that the taste is not, the taste isn't bad, the taste was great. The smell though, uh, not for me, not my cup of tea, it was a little strong. The actual astragalus root, I thought maybe it was that, but that smells really good. My son did complain of feeling a little achy and had a sore throat. Since he is nine, he does have childish taste buds and he did not like it. He said it was gross. So if you have these herbs on hand or also got the apothecary at home box, I hope you were able to follow along with me and make this tincture. If not, I do hope you were able to learn how to for future use so you can come back to this video and follow along then. If you have made this tincture before and have any suggestions or recommendations on how to tweak it a little bit, please leave a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. Like I said, I'm learning so any and all advice really does help me. I will be making more crafting videos as I learn so I am trying to aim to post regularly at least once a week, if not twice a week. So do hit that like and subscribe button. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.